Hi, we'll introduce how to use channel maps in post-processing. You can select all the channels or some of them to output. D5 render can output image channels including AO, material ID, reflection, sky mask, and transparent. Select all the channels or some of them to output. First, AO channel, also called ambient occlusion channel, can enhance the details of shadow on an uneven surface, thus adding depth to the scene. Take this scene for example, open the AO channel in Photoshop, change the blend mode to multiply or color burn. You can see the difference. Then adjust opacity to see how strong the AO effect should be. Now the scene looks more realistic. Second, the reflection channel, which can enhance the reflections on surfaces of water, pond, glass, metal and other reflective objects. Open the reflection channel in Photoshop. Change the blend mode to screen. The water and glass reflections will be much more obvious. Change the intensity of reflection through layer opacity. Third, material ID which can adjust how each material looks in the scene. Take this scene for example, open the material ID in Photoshop, use the magic wand to create a selection of the color patch you want to edit. Select the rendered image, adjust the selection's hue, saturation, lightness of colors, and other parameters. Material ID can also be used to create motion blur. In this scene, choose the car and give it a path blur. The scene will look more dynamic. Fourth, transparent channel which enables you to select the glasses in the scene so you can adjust the glass separately, which is quite similar to the material ID. Five, apart from the adjustments we mentioned before, sky mask allows you to quickly change the sky in your scene. Create a selection for the sky with sky mask, delete it and import a sky image you like. Done, the original sky has been replaced with a new one.